All right, they're starting. They're starting. All righty, here we go. Okay. All right. A pretty countdown. Epic starts. match. Are we gonna I'm have excited. any? Are we gonna have any quick predictions, Mister right, okay. Dean? I want to say I'm I'm feeling Marcus for no particular reason. Feeling Marcus for absolutely no particular reason. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Darby then. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say gonna go against each other. Okay. That, that she's gonna go with it because we gotta we gotta we gotta consider the fact that she's first. You know what true, I'm saying? She true. is first. That is so, so true. She does and have she, the immediate upper hand. And she's set for uh, for death too. I did Cynthia. notice that. Yeah. So but, she has a huge plus and his pet. Look at this oh, infall that. pet. That's not bad. That actually that's a DQ. Yeah, that's a actually a DQ. He's not allowed to have cast pets unless that is from the pet and an item that card. Is from the um, pet. And ref has to check that out because if that is, um... he cast. Oh no, yeah, he cast. Yeah, that's, that's a make cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is that is the pet. Yeah, so Dude, you scared me. That was a quick match. Um, now the ref can decide <laughs> to put in an infraction, whether it's a restart match or, or whatever the ref decides to do. Uh, we'll find out. Um, but that was that was quick though. That was quick. Wow. Yeah, that was really good. Um, I don't know necessarily this match is valid or not. I'll, I'll have to ask the ref of this match okay. about Sounds good. what's happening. <laughs> the DQ. Can we get a rip in the chat for Marcus? <laughs> that was sad, dude. Wrong pet screws him over like that. But he got this. Oh. Oh, wait. Stop in your start, my bad. Okay. Okay, so the match is restarting, guys. Uh, Marcus is gonna have to change his pet, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. Um, no normally our refs uh, catch um, make cast pets, though. So at least it went off early. Hey, yeah. we had a we had a we had a DQ uh, though or or a um, rule infraction, but they but it was so early in the match that the referee is uh, allowing them just to restart the match. So let's have a real good match with uh, Marcus versus Darby. Should be really fun. All right, Very enjoy. Fun. And real quickly, I noticed that he switched over to a red ghost pet, which is probably, in my opinion, a better pet to use. And uh, he has a triple double with a selfish talent. So he has exactly 70 resistance and he has higher overall damage than Darby does. So this is going to be interesting. But she has higher health, though, way higher health. She does have higher health. That is true. She does have that one advantage. Almost, two, on almost 2K over. Well, 1.8, 1.7. But yeah. But she's gonna go with the same strat as she was earlier. She's putting up the Bale Frost. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a good game. It Certainly can also is. go either way, especially with her starting twice, starting again first. That mm -hmm. is just an incredible advantage. It definitely is. And something to consider here is whenever an ice is second, it kind of changes up their play of stuff. Uh, normally, whenever I see an ice go second, they kind of rely on damage over time. And uh, mm -hmm. not as strong of hits, just weakening their opponent in time, which is going to be a little bit harder with a death that regains their health with most of their spells. So yeah, yeah. Her best shot would probably knock him out in one shot. That's why she's probably going for the bubble right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I believe so. It's going to be important for Marcus to get a couple of things up. If I were Mar right now, the one thing I'd be looking for is a stun block. This 100%. is like the most essential thing that he needs to find. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's definitely stacking up. She's definitely stacking up. And that's a 50% blade, so that's enchanted. That's a, it's impressive. Very. So we'll see how Marcus does with his blade stackings. Most, most deaths that you see in PvP will blade stack pretty well. So mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll this see what he has up his sleeve. This has to get Let's watch. Let's wait. That's okay. That's kind of scary a little bit. Oh, Marcus, don't let me down. Now, Marcus is not going to let us down. <laughs> Marcus got this. I was going to say, Marcus, Marcus does have the upper hand now, and he's going straight oh, for the skeletal right dragon. Here. That's not a bad move. That's not a bad move. You'll do some decent damage. With this damage and uh, extra blade, I believe so. And you know, it isn't too bad. Unfortunately, he didn't crit, but 
I would say this is probably going to do, what, what do you think? Maybe 1500 in time? Yeah, 2k. 200. Maybe a little less. I, th I think it's probably going to be two. Uh, yeah, probably yeah, 1500. Would definitely make more sense, yeah. She's putting the minion up. Ooh, the ice, the ice guardian minion. Ooh. That's going to be good. It's going to be a struggle for him to get it off, though. He's going to have to waste an AoE instead of actually concentrating on her. That's true. He doesn't have any of his shadow hits, so he can't use any of the simple mm -hmm. stuff like Lulu. He has to use something like Deer Knight, or he has to specifically Deer target the minion, which I is going to be painful. I highly doubt he's going to target the minion. That would be such a... I don't know. If I was Marcus, I'd be thinking about it, because you know that that minion is going to take off his set shields. 100%. Absolutely going to do it. It might do it this turn. She's trying to just shield up, prep her pips. She has max pips next turn. All right. Do you think he's gonna deer knight, or do you think he's gonna keep targeting her? He might deer knight, and that would that would certainly make the most sense. If if I was Darby, I would using this moment with her minion to take advantage of it. Ooh. I was going to say, if I was Darby, I wasn't going to call it out too soon, but I would stun him this turn and hope that that minion takes off that set shield. But mm -hmm. it looks like Marcus is a little bit ahead of her at finally yeah. pulling that stun block. Okay. She's going for an AoE with Snow Angel. It's not a bad move. She's trying to deal as much damage. So you think the minion is hitting right now? I think the minion will hit. I, I do think that the minion is going to hit this turn. If not, I'm not sure what else they would do. Maybe put on Blade? Yeah. Blade. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's going to be a little minion. selfish today. It's a selfish <laughs> minion, you know? But, that uh, is my biggest problem with minions, always being selfish. All right. But this will be interesting. Did Marcus, did Marcus um, disclose whether he was going to use Juju or if he was going to use Scion? I did not hear we that. Know. I did not hear that. So I probably okay. should explain this rule for those in chat that haven't heard it. So we have a new rule where you cannot use Juju or Scion uh, collectively. So what that means mm -hmm. is at the beginning of every match, you need to choose if you want to have Juju or Scion. If you choose one or the other, you cannot use the other one. So let's just say mm -hmm. he chooses um, Scion. Then he cannot go ahead and, and use uh, a combination of uh of juju and sign and that's a problem because uh juju allows you to take 25 percent um percentile uh um off of your health so so you can take 25 percent chance or 70 or 25 off of your health and that can be pretty bad as um the condition for uh death scion is to double damage when you or your opponent is is below the 33 percent or, or below so it's, it's it's kind of a way to get that condition really easily it's a bit risky, though it's a bit too powerful. So we took it out of the tournament by having a mutually exclusive uh, or and or 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 rule. If that makes sense. Sounds uh, good to me. Yeah, it's pretty right, cool. Like you know, so so we don't know exactly what Marcus chose. Um, if he chose um, Juju, as he may want to have that control, then he couldn't mm -hmm. use that as a combo for Scion, which would be a potential um, no no. If if he then goes, it's oh wait, automatic. I want it. You if he uses both. Um, well, if he uses both, he's DQ'd, and there's mm -hmm. no uh, second chances from here, as he got his only second chance, as it was early mm -hmm. on. Um, mm -hmm. I would have to ask uh, our referee for the match of what he chose, and find that out yeah. for you. I would be interested in now, because that is going to play like, it a is little a very, bit of a different role very interesting for what his role. strategy is. Yeah, like, is he going to use Scion, or is he going to go and, I guess, do the old school death strict, right? He does mm -hmm. have, have Headless Horseman, though. Uh, and by the way, uh, Headless Horseman is one of our spells that have the new and unique uh, cooldown rule. So cooldown rule is if you use it, you cannot use the spell for X amount of rounds. So uh, if in, in this example, it's two. So if you use Headless Horseman, it, you cannot use it for the following two rounds. Though on the third round, you can. Because it's you know one round, two round of cooldown. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. That's definitely, that's definitely. And if anyone yeah. has any questions, we'll definitely explain that in chat right now. Yeah, I can definitely see, clarify on on our rules. Right. Yeah, those death shields, man, those death shields. Yeah, but they These are death shields can be by, pretty by good. Levels. And she got rid of his pierce bubble and crit bubble. Yeah, the good news though, 
Yeah, de definitely, uh, Death does have uh, quite a few options to dealing with shields. They do have poison as a very effective uh, low pip dot. Mm -hmm. So if you want to use that do. or or any other ways to do it, um, that would work. And of course, uh, dragon could work if you just put yourself up up in some pierce bubbles. Okay. And like and Marcus like absolutely this, wants the bubble control right now. He's he putting up another that. Age of Reckoning. Yeah. Because that's definitely gonna. I think I think she's gonna to try match. to. Uh, Break the bubble again as soon as possible. Yeah, welcome to Dual Circles Bubble War 2019 uh, Summer <laughs> Edition. <laughs> the classic Thank bubble. Man of a thousand names, welcome to the chat. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Glad to have you here. Like saying, our fellow viewers. All right, I want to find that out right now. Not the yeah. Let's do this. He's shielding. He's playing it safe right now. I feel she's gonna start attacking very soon. Very soon, see another bubble. Another bubble. Weirdly, she's not going for a pierce bubble. I would think she would want to go through his resist if she has so high resist. Because you can only get up to. Um... What What is the maximum res uh, pierce per person? Uh, that is 40. 40, right? She can't go over that. That is 40. 40 on your stats. So if you have a pierce bubble, mm -hmm. you are allowed That's to go over that limit as yeah. that is a temporary boost or like mm -hmm. an infall. As we have, uh, we always have questions about our stats and, and like when you have certain effects that change your 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 resist values or or your damage mm -hmm. values or whatever values, uh, those are always temporary things. So those are allowed. Because we talk mm -hmm. about the base stats of a person for what we. Allow. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Right. Um, I'm waiting for the response from the ref about what card they picked, what yeah. they chose. Um, they haven't used either, so technically it's fine. Mm. But it would be that interesting to know what they may be planning. Yeah, that, that definitely was a big anticipation with that um, triage. Yeah, she, I believe she was predicting the skeletal. And that's what I would do too. He does have on two blades. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hopefully she has a couple extra. She's pretty much like she can't do anything this turn because of this, uh, the stun block. Yeah, well, She's got a huge advantage. She's going to have to get rid of that as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean, she does have the, the spell, which does slow her down a bit, and especially because she's ice like that's, you know, that's, you know, it. Tower shields, so she has that shield anyway, so yes, whatever. Yeah. Uh, she can't really do a lot of defensive things, so you kind of have to ha use a turn to uh, free yourself from that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But definitely a lot of cool things that are people could do. They have pips, they have resources. It's just uh, the manner of executing Astract, their combo. Com I, they need a good combo out of this. Yeah, we should definitely be seeing some action really, really soon. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I believe so. Really went well. well. Yeah. Um, bo both our blades. It's gonna start this turn. Everything is gonna start this turn. I was gonna say I, I feel pretty confident about this round kicking it yeah. off. Yeah. This is. Gonna I think we're either gonna see a poison or a skeletal come out of Marcus here. Ooh, oh. Or he's just gonna go for an infall. He's gonna give himself another round to try and improve stats overall. Oh. Another death shield from Darby. Oh. All right, this the is minion being legendary and fizzling. <laughs> the selfish fizzling minion. We give him, we gotta give him props for that. He tries, he tries. You really do have to give the minions props because if you're nice and you're running the bubble, I would say I could get like a good thousand to two thousand health off of a person just from a minion if they let it Dang. live for too long. 100%. So, Darby Ooh. may not realize it, but it could be, it could be the poison that eventually defeats Marcus here. Lord of Winter, that's know. really. Yeah, that's really beneficial for her as it's as, yeah, it's as effectively uh, Ice's mana burn. Mm -hmm. So certainly, yeah, you know, the utility from this is definitely strong. Make it where Marcus's uh, potential feature is really limited. Yeah. Uh, also, a, um, I found of damage, I found too. out what he chose. He chose Scion. He, he chose Scion. Scion. Okay. okay. So, so he may be he, he may be using it real soon. Like it could just be his strat to kind of you know, take the damage and try to go for it, but. She's also having those death shields just in case, so he has to be really careful to, for when he executes that. And he won't be able to put up uh, put up another bubble. Hey. If he's actually going to go for Scion, then he's got to save up for it. He can't waste more time. Yeah, he needs to have um, his his conditions, especially uh, with mm -hmm. with. Um, I guess the prism is also really good as well. Yeah, that, that that is a key move to do, especially when you have shields. So, and that's really hard to counter unless you also carry life shields in. But what are the chances of that, right? True, true. Was that Frenzy in the chat? I see you, Frenzy. Yeah, we have Frenzy in chat. Hey, welcome to stream. 
I don't know if everyone else that I haven't mentioned formally reading salutations. Yeah. Emma doesn't say that. She's having it right now. You, um, she was Juju's. Yeah. Darby Dark Dust versus Marcus. Ice versus Ice versus Death. I do agree. I don't. I don't. So according to these so rules, far. I don't think I would be seeing any. Ooh. Anyone using Juju? Yeah. That's I mean, an Juju fossil. overall is pretty risky. It's just Juju. Mm -hmm went from being really good to bad to good again because as a consequence of his new effect that mm -hmm. happens yeah which 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 can say yeah oh Ooh. my gosh that was a wow. one shot that was amazing that was a one shot so even against the shield that was i was not expecting that i was saying a three to four k yeah, it's been max. forever since i've seen an avenging fossil but yeah blade, blade stack within foul is a really deadly combo well oh yeah the convert sorry yeah <laughs> I, I guess the convert really is how you know how he saves himself. So I guess that's kind of the trouble. If yeah. you if you use set shields, just remember that they can be countered. You know, 100%. instead of just going into like you know war, or taking the shields off manually, he just goes around them. And that's mm -hmm. especially and useful no as uh, she doesn't have a lot of uh, life resistance. Life comparison resist. to death and resist. she would not have a, she would not have a life shield probably. Yeah. So Unless that's just a, as a circumstance of. Of the battle, but this yeah, this was a good man uh, game. It turned out so quickly. I, I, I mean, it was only 13 minutes, which 